Hare Krishna. In Srimad Bhagavatam 10, 21, 18, the beauty and amazing nature of Govardhan on this very auspicious day of Govardhan Puja and Govardhan Leela is nicely explained. Hantayam Adri Abala Haridhasavaryo Yet Rama Krishna Charanas Parasha Pramodaha Manam Tanoti Sahagoganayosta Yurya Pani Yasuya Vasakan Darakanda Mulay. In the translation, it is very nicely explained that of all the devotees, the gopis declare Govardhan to be the best. Why? Because he supplies to Krishna and Balaram, along with all the calves, cows and cowherd friends, all kinds of necessities. This is the beauty of Govardhan. Govardhan as a devotee does not live for himself. He lives for others. And what does he give, give them? He doesn't give them once, but he gives them and supplies their needs. This is very important quality of a devotee. Gordon supplied water for drinking. He gave very soft grass for the calves and the cows to eat. He gave beautiful caves that were cooling in, in the day for the Gopas and Krishna to stay in. He gave fruits and flowers and vegetables. And in this way, the gopis say, the hill offered respects to the Lord. Being touched by the lotus feet of Krishna, and Balaram, Govardhan became very jubilant. What can we take back from Govardhan? I think a very important point is for so many years, Govardhan Hill was supplying everything for Krishna and Vrindavan. And yet Krishna reminded, he reminded the Gopas and Nanda Maharaj that while they were looking externally to Indra, they had forgotten the greatness of Govardhan who was right in front of them. Sometimes we look for greatness everywhere, but we forget that Krishna and his great devotees are actually with us right here. And it's so easy to take them for granted. The last point that's very important for Govardhan Leela is that whatever that we have, we should give. And whatever that we give, we will not lack. And that's why Govardhan was so jubilant, even while giving so much to Krishna. Hare Krishna.